Lauren Jerkowski, but LeBeau hasn't played in quite a few weeks here, so we'll see if she can, can pick up the pace in her midweek game against Toledo. The one-two is swung on. Hit right over to Ellen McVeigh, and the throw is a little off the plate, and so Ellie Enriquez will make it safely to, and definitely a batter's count, 2-0. And that pitch will be swung on. Now 2-1, as Moore takes a second to. Bunt slowly <laughs> brings the bat back. It's really interesting. And that one will be hung on, going out in the outfield. It will be caught, although runner advances from second to third, and so now the Rockets have a runner on first and third. We still have one out, so. The first pitch goes behind the batter, and Kiki Thole una unable to hold on to it as the runner from third will score. And so Toledo is on the board on a catching error as the runner on first also moves to second and scores, so now 1-0. The 2-0 count from LeBeau. Swung on and it gets past Maddie Erickson and Ella McVeigh as it'll go into the outfield. And the runner on second will score as Jenna Kroll has a one-out single. A little bit of the 2-0 the slack that LeBeau put the team in as now that pitch will be hit as Hannah George hits the batter kind of on the outside ankle and she'll advance freely to first base. Now runners on first, and two hit by pitches and one catching error have led to two runs already. And that one will go right to Maddie Erickson as she tags the runner going to third for the second out of the inning. And so on, so now Hannah George will get ready as a ball is hit straight to center field, but routine catch there from Janisa Conway as that will end the inning. I mean, that was a confident fastball right up the middle. Now the full count pitch goes, and it'll go right between the first and second baseman out to right field, and Ellie Sealer will be on base with a leadoff single for Michigan. Bases, so yep. definitely going to be happy with that one. Yeah, and that pitch will go slap right to the shortstop, and Indiana Lankford will be thrown out at first base as Ellie Sealer will sit on second. So unable to get on base. Is They're on second. It's kind of hard to decide what to do here. Yeah, the pitch will come, and she'll swing on. It'll go right to the third baseman. Looks to second, but throws to first and gets Maddie Erickson out at first. So shortstop does a really good job there of keeping Ellie Sealer on second. The batters count 3-1. The change up there is, again, a little low and a little outside. So Thole will walk to first, and now Mission will have runners on first and second. But Seems like the bat almost lagged behind. It's now the one, two, and she'll pop it out all the oh, way in the wow. center, and it's going and caught at the warning track. So great catch there for Madigan Mikulski out in center field. A play to make sure Valmont's ball didn't get out of the park. As it'll be popped up D just shallow into the outfield as Ellen McVay is able to backtrack from shortstop to make the catch you mentioned as now the one-two count will be ready to come here from George. Here comes the pitch and she'll swing, kind of a light swing there, but able to get the strikeout and now Hannah George. First third of the first inning. Yeah, one strikeout so far, the one we just saw is now Enriquez hits it straight to Ella McVeigh as that throw is made just in time to Lily Valmont and will retire the side. As again, McVeigh makes a great. Here comes the first pitch of the inning. It'll be swung on, it'll go deep into center field and it will go over the wall. Home run from Janisa Conway. Her sixth home run of the season as the Wolverines are now back in this game 2-1. Wow, how about that for the season? She's got to start getting on base more. Yeah, so the full count goes right to shortstop and she'll make the throw all the way to first and just in time as Ellis Stevens. It's now the 3-1. Goes in, it'll be a little low, so Ava Casales will get on base with the walk. And her on-base percentage, sitting at 435, to come on its way. It'll go in, Ella McVay will hit it right to the second baseman, turns one, looks to the second, unable to get there. So Ava Castales is out at second, but Ella McVay makes it to first base on a fielder's choice. As now there's two outs for the 0-1 coming to Ellie Sealer. 
And Ellen McVeigh will go, and it'll be hit to the outfield and caught by the center fielder. Again, Madison Mikulski able to catch that one and end the inning as Slito's kind of in the, the hot part of its lineup here. And that pitch will also be swung on and strikeout there for Hannah Jordan. But she did a good job holding on. So now this first pitch here for Moore popped up into the infield as Indy Langford waves everyone off and makes the catch. So just like that, Wolverines have two outs. Cole was gonna have the green light. She was likely gonna swing regardless. So now the 3-1 pitch comes in. It'll be swung on, gone right to Ella McVeigh and she'll make an easy throw to Lily Valamont and retire the side just like that. So another one, two, three inning for- Graham's just gotta manage this game. So the first pitch to Andy Langford is it right to the second baseman and it'll be a routine out there for Toledo as Sydney Griffith able to pick up that ball and fling it right to first and level just at the bottom of the strike zone there. So now the 1-0 count going to Erickson and she'll swing on, it'll go right to the third baseman, fling it over to first and another routine out there for the Rockets. And you know, good change of speed and just dip too far in front. So now the 1-1 pitch will be smacked it all the way to the outfield and that one is gone. Another home run for the Wolverines as Kiki Thole gets her fifth home run of the season and ties up this game at 2-2 with two outs in the bottom of the third inning. And just what they needed as Lily Valmont comes up to bat and she'll swing and it'll go right in the outfield and hit the wall as she'll round first, go to second. Center fielder struggles a little bit with it, but Lily Valmont able to slot. And you know, more than anything, you just want to put the pressure back on Toledo, and it seems like they've done that to Kylie Graham here. As now, Jason Conway will hit it straight to the first baseman as Jenna Kroll can just walk over and tag the base and end the inning, 20 on the season. But Hannah George will get ready here for the second pitch, and it goes in. Hit right to Ellen McVeigh, but she struggles with it and unable, decides to hold off and not make the throw. A little messed up last time. They gave Michigan two resets, which was interesting. So Hannah George took all her time there. Yeah. As that pitch will go past Ellen McVeigh into left field as Ellie Sealer will grab it, and it'll be another single for the Rockets. Count. Bracamonte will show bunt. Runner will go to third, and she'll be tagged out. So great heads-up play by Ella McVeigh to run over to third base. Kiki Thole to make a great throw. And that pitch will go into the outfield to right field as it'll be a single, and she'll throw to home, but runner decides not to go. So now just like that, another single for the Rock. Third pitch to the at-bat. They'll go down, it'll be swung on. It'll be hit all the way to center field and caught, great play, but the runner will go from third to home, so Toledo will pick up their third run of the game on a sack fly to center field. You take all day. And this first pitch to Erickson will be hit all the way in the outfield, and Janisa Kanmu will make another catch out in the outfield to end the inning, but not without some damage on the scoreboard. Answer on Toledo's solid hitting performance from the top of the inning. Now the 2-0 count is popped up, stays in the field of play as it'll drift just barely foul, but caught by the third baseman for the Wolverines. The pitch will come in, and it'll be swung on, hit just past the pitcher and bobbled by the shortstop, so it'll roll into the outfield and be a single for Ava Castales. And here comes the first pitch. It'll be swung on a bunt. They'll go try and make the throw to second, and the marker's safe. So just like that, Ella McVeigh will get on with a single, and And they'll call her out. So the call was overturned, and Delamonica will be out at second. Now the 0-2 pitch. We swung on, and it'll drop just in the glove of the shortstop, Ellie Enriquez, as that will end the inning. 
called as a ball as Aaron Hone is now in as the pitcher for the Wolverines. Once again, down 3-2 to the Toledo Rockets. Second pitch swung on and caught infield by Indiana Lankford. Again, 1-2 count, one out here. The pitch is in. Hone goes straight to the catcher, drops the ball, and Griffith will head to first base here to get one on for Toledo. Once again, just one out here at the top of the fifth. 13 and 12, Toledo squad looking upset Michigan. Last pitch is gonna be high and, and Riley Moore will get a walk to first base. And so two on now for Toledo, once again with just one out. Mich the second out of the inning. Hain delivers it in and got her out right up the middle with the fastball. Aaron Hain gets her first strikeout of the day. And that's now two outs on the board here at the top of the fifth. So Toledo holding on in from Com Columbiana, Ohio. Hain delivers the pitch in. It's floated up to third base, and Erickson's going to take care of it. That's the end of the top of the fifth. Michigan lead. But I want to play it a little bit safe to get runners on in this first at bat at the inning. Knight delivers up the middle, and that's going to be a ball outside. And so Langford gets on first base to improve her on base percentage above. Knight's pitch comes in right to the chest, and Erickson swinging deep and out of the park. Maddie Erickson delivers a line drive, absolutely a laser ball out of here. And Michigan will add not just one, but two runs to the board to regain the lead for the first time today. 253 batting average on the season, delivers a deep ball into left field, and this one is out of here too. Mark that two home runs for the Michigan Wolverines in the bottom of the fifth inning, and Lily Valamont adds another two runs to the board. Michigan extends their lead six to three on what was a quiet opening few innings for this batting order. So right where Michigan wants to be with Conway up. Graham skips this one on home plate into the catcher's glove, and so Conway makes her way to first base, getting that walk. Able to get hits with Valmont in that home run, and now Conway on first with a walk. Big inning for the Wolverines. So on comes a quick strike from Ella Stevenson. She swung on way too early. The throw is just late to second base as Conway went running. Fouts are still being displayed on the scoreboard here in Ann Arbor. So Kylie Graham going to have to try to work her way through these batters. Delivers the lefty up to third base, thrown to second. We got a little pickle situation here. And we're going to go back and forth. Conway is stuck between second and third. Now it's the third baseman trying to tag, and she does barely get her in the back. Unless now we're getting a safe call. And the umpires are going to come together. I'm And she's going to be called out. Conway doesn't really like the call as she hunched over and this is very solid to start this game. But, of course, came out and eventually came back in the game. The lefty now delivers on the 2-2. Costala swings on right down the first baseline, picked up by Kroll, and gets Costala out. So that's going to make two outs at the bottom of the fifth. Quite a few behind home play in the infield. Graham delivers on the 2-2. McVeigh delivers a floater down the middle, and it lands. McVeigh brings home Riley Karakaburu, and Michigan extends the, their lead 7-3 now. Michigan has five on the board in this inning. Now at home plate and delivers a line drive. It's going to be a base hit for Michigan. It's number one, Ellie Sealer. And eventually, McVeigh advances all the way to third base. Michigan has extended and again, Toledo kind of taking away that, that short hit, though. And Langford floats this one past left field. Can she get a glove on it? She cannot. Erickson doesn't get a glove. There goes Langford around the bases. Langford's going to go for the inside the park. Homer up to home plate, and she slides home. It's an inside the park home run for Indiana Langford, and she drives home two others with her. Michigan extends its lead once more. This game, or beginning of this inning, so it is completely flipped. And on comes Maddie Erickson. Deep ball into left field is caught and out at the warning track. Lauren Erickson gets her 
runs in that fifth inning, I mean, just spectacular. And with the 0-2, that pitch will go up into center field, and it'll be kind of a confusing play there as Janelle Lacqua came in at second base in the top of the sixth inning. And for Toledo, you're trying to string together just a few good at-bats. And that fly ball will go up into left field. It'll be caught by Ellie Sealer. He gives up his 276. And that second pitch will go up again into the infield. It'll be called off as Ella McVeigh will make the catch routinely at her shortstop position. And so now two outs. First pitch to O'Day goes, and she'll be a line all the way to Ella McVeigh. McVeigh will try and make the throw at first, and it's out at first. So great play there by, by Ella McVeigh as she had to back up a little bit, control that ball, and throw it all the way to first base here in Ann Arbor. As now the 0 1 count comes into Thole again. She'll swing, it'll go up into the infield, and a pretty routine catch there for the first baseman, Jenna Crow. Hit that double early on, and then the homer in the last inning. Graham's got to be a little, a little fearful here. The 1 2. Get hit all the way into center field Ooh. and unable to make the catch. So it drops just in play as Lily Valamont will get the that ultimately became an RBI a little bit later. So strong performance from Conway as the 1-0 o, the pitch goes in for another ball as Valamont will go all the way to second and she makes it just in time. It was a great throw by the catcher. Now here comes the pitch from Graham. It'll go in and Janisa Conway hits it all the way in the outfield and it is gone. Another home run for Janisa Conway here in the bottom of the sixth as Michigan will extend their lead yet again to 12-3 and ultimately that will end the game as the Wolverines have reached their threshold for the run rule. Janisa Conway with her second homer of the day. Conway was one, the one who got it started for Michigan in the batting and on the offensive side of the ball here. And she ends the game. I mean, what a performance. What a turnaround for the Wolverines here. A game they got down early. They, they turned it around with relative ease over the last two innings. Yeah. And, I mean, they showed up.